masters of duct tape, cardboard, and hot glue, making cosplay out of everyday materials. They are the DIY Costume Squad. Hey, welcome to the show. I'm Dustin, and I'm going to be making a DIY Spider-Man suit today. You guys have been asking for one in the comments. Now, we've made Spider-Man in the past for homemade movies. We made one a few years ago for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and Ben just recently did one for his homemade movies episode. But I'm gonna walk you through the whole process and show you how to make this using regular clothes and everyday materials. So let's take a look at the costume. So you got the red and blue elements. I'll be able to piece some different types of fabric together, and then, of course, draw all the lines on here with some markers. It looks like he almost has some little gadgets attached to his side and then he has some kind of cool bracelets probably for his web shooters got the mask of course and like the really thick eyes then of course he's got the spider emblem on the chest and on the back but other than that it's going to be just a lot of piecing together the red and blue fabric and then drawing all the lines on so there are a few different ways you could approach this now my first idea was to use these full body spandex suits but these are like 35 bucks a piece they're really really cool but then it occurred to me that if you're gonna spend the money buying two of these suits you should probably just buy a spider-man costume so instead Instead of doing that, I'm gonna show you how to make this costume totally DIY, just using regular clothes. Regular shirts, regular pants, and I'm gonna see if I can make this thing totally DIY. I am gonna start by making the mask. And now this is something I did buy online, and it's just a red spandex mask. And this was $10. When I did this for homie movies, I kind of made this out of an old t-shirt, and it took forever. Got this cool uh, styrofoam mannequin head um, that I bought at the craft store. That comes in pretty handy. Now I'm going to add the eyes. All right, so I got the basic shapes uh, drawn out. What I'm gonna try to do here is mask off this shape of the white part and then spray paint it white. Okay, ready for paint. All right, so I'm gonna use white spray paint. This costs around $4, but let's be honest, I'm gonna use about 10 cents worth. Okay, paint is dry. Let's uh, take off masking tape and see what we got. Nice, that's the white part. And then obviously there's a thick black edge. And so for that, I'm gonna use craft foam. This big sheet was 99 cents. All right, I'm gonna kind of um, draw the shape out on a piece of paper first. Yeah. Okay, pretty good. Kind of looks like Deadpool. Uh, next up is just drawing all the lines. So I'm just gonna use a thick black marker. Okay, I think that is it. That's the finished Spider-Man mask. Looking pretty good. All right, so moving on to the rest of the suit. I have two different shirts that I'm gonna mix together. I've got this red one, kind of a sporty zip up. This was $10. It's very Spider-Man-y, I must say. And I've also got this blue one. This was $6. This is a women's shirt. I'm gonna cut these apart and put them together to make one Spider-Man shirt. I'm gonna cut the red one so that the blue one will be revealed underneath. So I'm gonna use the charcoal to just kind of draw out the shapes. So I did half. I'm gonna lay it on the table and just match the other half. So I drew on all the shapes. Now I'm just gonna cut this out. Ah, I'm scared to cut it. Ta-da! All right, so now I'm gonna put this on top of the blue shirt. I'm gonna tape this in place a little bit just to help where I'm gluing. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue the red fabric onto the blue fabric with some hot glue. Okay, before I glue this last back part, this is all a little bit baggy on me, so I'm gonna cut a slit down the back and then tighten it up, glue it down so it's a nice tight Spider-Man fit. Okay, cool. All the outside edges are glued together, but I'm gonna flip it inside out and just kind of reinforce the inside seams with some glue and probably some tape, just so it doesn't fall apart on me. Okay, time to decorate this thing. Before I draw all the webs on there, I'm gonna make the little spider emblem just so I can position where that's gonna go. So I'll use some more craft foam for that.
Okay, that's the body of the spider. I'm gonna draw the legs on with some Sharpie while I do the rest of the webbing. So, uh, this is gonna take a little while. Okay, that's a lot of lines, but I'm not done with lines. That was all the red. <laughs> now I gotta move on to the blue. Okay, so those are the blue details. Now I think I'm gonna make the red spider on his back. I'm just doing one side of this pattern, so when I trace it, I can flip it over and make sure it's really symmetrical. Cool, so I'm gonna trace this pattern onto some craft foam. So I'm gonna spray paint this red with some paint that I picked up for about three bucks. I'm gonna start with a coat of gray primer. Okay, looking good. Bam. Okay. All right, before I move on, um, I decided I am gonna go ahead and make these spider legs out of foam. I'll just do that real quick. Okay, so he's got these little gadgets on the side here. Looks like maybe refill cartridges for his web shooters, that's my guess. So I'm gonna make those out of some black craft foam and attach them. Okay, so he's got these little uh, cartridge tube things on there, so I'm going to just use some straws. I already had some straws, but they're cheap. So I'm gonna cut them down to size and then leave the tips red, paint the inside silver, and then glue them on. Okay, so this is ready for paint. I'm gonna use some metallic spray paint, which is around five bucks. Okay. All right, I'm gonna move on to the pants. I found some blue pants at the thrift store for $6. They're pretty much just the right shade of blue. That's one of the main things to keep in mind when you're picking out your clothes from various stores is you want the colors to match. So first of all, there's a couple little uh, shiny parts on these pants. I'm gonna cover those up with some blue marker. Okay, that worked. Um, these are a little bit big, so I'm going to cut a slit down the back and tighten it up a bit and glue it together. I'm gonna turn these inside out so I can reinforce the inside with some more glue and some tape. Don't want Spider-Man's butt falling out. I'm gonna cut these belt loops off. All right, so now I gotta draw out the lines and the details on the pants. And I'm just eyeballing all of this, just like the shirt, looking at some reference pictures and kind of making it up as I go along too. Okay, moving on to the feet. It basically looks like he's just wearing socks, so I picked up some socks for $3. These are athletic socks, so I'm just going to be drawing the webs on them. There's kind of a logo on here, so I'm gonna cover that up with red marker. All right, so for the top rim, there's like a black edge. I'm gonna just spray paint the top of this and then kind of fold it over, and I think that's gonna make the shape we want. All right, so now I just gotta draw the rest of the webs on here. Okay, one final thing for this costume, and that is the web shooters, which I'm going to attach to some gloves. So I searched everywhere for some red gloves, but it is the middle of summer right now. So I managed to find one at a thrift store. They sold it to me for 49 cents, but I need two. Luckily I had some older used ones that are a little bit funky, but I'm gonna use these instead. Same idea though, it's just drawing the pattern on with the black marker. All right, for the web shooters themselves, I'm gonna make those out of craft foam and then just attach it right to the gloves. So I'll look at the picture and kind of estimate what the shape is. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is just glue this right onto the glove, but if it's too tight, I won't be able to get my hand in. So I found this sole jar of pennies, because I'm an old man, to kind of stretch it out, glue it on, and then I hope that that makes it stay in, in shape. I do need to glue this without killing myself.
Okay, so I'm just gonna add a few more little details on here and that's it. Okay, I think that is it. It is time to try the whole thing on. All right. Hey, I feel very Spider-Man-like. This is nice. This is actually pretty comfortable. Not a whole lot of spray paint here. Just some stretchy clothes. And one of the bonuses here is that I've got pockets. So that's always handy when you're at the convention or at the party. I wasn't sure how well I'd be able to see out of the spray paint, but not bad. I can kind of see what's happening. And let's see if I can get out of this thing. All right. And I like that it has a removable hood. That's the other bonus about not using those full body suits. So in the end, I only ended up spending $38 plus a little tiny bit of spray paint so let's just call it 40 bucks for the whole thing. That's not bad. Out of all the costumes I've made, this is probably the most flexible. If you want some more hot Spidey action, be sure and watch Ben's homemade movies episode of Spider-Man Homecoming. That's really awesome. I played Tony Stark in it. And that's it. Let us know in the comments what other DIY costumes you want to see us try and make. And be sure to subscribe to Cinefix. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. I'm out of here.